This video is picking up right where the previous one left off. We're going to continue onward with part 035, user defined functions, and I'm scrolling down to the part of the document that starts with add path right here. What if we're writing these function files in MATLAB, but we want to organize our functions into like a subfolder, for example? So you can tell MATLAB about various folders containing the functions that you might want to use using a command called add path. So I'm going to open up a folder window here, and this is the folder that I've been working in in MATLAB. But suppose that I've got a subfolder, and the subfolder is named my toolbox, just as an example. And it's empty initially, but I'm going to take the Vegas function and drag and drop it into the toolbox. All right, so now the Vegas function file Vegas.m is in the my toolbox folder. Now, if I don't run this command right here, add path my toolbox, if I just try to run the code, let's see what happens. There's an error. Undefined function Vegas for input argument of type double. MATLAB can't find any function named Vegas. It's never heard of it. Now, if I put that code back, add path my toolbox, and run it again, now it works perfectly. Because I'm telling MATLAB, hey, look in this folder named my toolbox. Have that among the folders that you look for any functions that I call. So when I call the function right here using its name, Vegas, MATLAB is going to look in that folder among many others. Scrolling down. In fact, we can see all the different folders that MATLAB will look in using path tool right here. So I run this section. And this window pops up showing all the different folders where MATLAB is going to look for where functions might be found. And all of these are on my hard drive. But the very first one at the top there is the one that I just added with the add path command in the previous section. Now, in Octave, add path works exactly as it does here. However, path tool does not. I haven't delved deep into uh, methods in Octave for how to figure out what folders should be in the path, but there are ways to modify that. I recommend looking online. Add path does work. However, if you close MATLAB or close Octave, anything that you added to the path will be forgotten. It's only live for the session of MATLAB that you're currently working in. You'd have to rerun it if you closed MATLAB or Octave and then reopened it. We can actually save our list of paths right through the menu right here. And there are also commands to do that in both Octave and in MATLAB. But I just recommend you look those up if those are of interest to you. So that's just a short little video on how to modify your path to point MATLAB at the files that you may need to access and also look at what files are available using that path tool right there.